We remain in close contact with Haitian officials uh, and relevant stakeholders. Uh, the secretary, uh, to your question, spoke yesterday uh, with acting Prime Minister Claude Joseph, uh, and the secretary reiterated our continued commitment to work with the government of Haiti uh, in support of the Haitian people uh, in democratic governance, peace, and security. Uh, we know ultimately that preserving Haiti's democratic institutions is key to uh, restoring peace. Um, the United States, the OAS, uh, our partners in the region and beyond. We've consistently urged the government of Haiti to organize free and fair uh, presidential and legislative elections. And we continue to urge Haitian government officials and political stakeholders uh, to dialogue in the best interest uh, of the Haitian people and to refrain from violence. This is uh, the message we heard, the, precisely the message we heard yesterday from acting Prime Minister Claude Joseph. Um, we have, as you alluded to, been in contact with a number of officials and stakeholders we are aware that the Haitian National Police uh, of, of the Haitian National Police's request for investigative assistance, uh, and the United States is responding. Uh, the situation on the ground, as I said before, is evolving rapidly. We've remained in regular contact uh, with Haitian officials, including uh, the investigative authorities, uh, to discuss how the United States can assist going forward. <laughs>